vote for the SOP. Mr. Chair, I'm going to call uh, Chris Farfoy. Mr Chair, clause one and two are always a title and commencement. It, it is an opportunity uh, we get to offer some alternative uh, titles for the bill. The bill as it stands, Mr Chair, is called the Taxation Budget Measures Family Incomes Package Bill, uh, which I think is entirely inaccurate. And I think we should consider changing the, the, the name of the bill to Taxation Budget Band-Aid Measures close brackets, bill, because that's all that is offered within this piece of legislation. And to some degree, the Band-Aid is also very old and very septic, because if you look at it, for those who are in the most need, uh, that are in the most pain, there is little, if anything, available to them in this Band-Aid budget. There's nothing in the short term that's going to help them in any way to help uh, them and their plight. And if you look at what it offers to those on the highest incomes, Mr Chair, there is five times more for them in this budget. Now, we have talked about the um, independent earner tax credit. And that was another measure that this government put in, again, as a Band-Aid. But in this piece of legislation, Mr Chair, they are removing that Band-Aid, a very important Band-Aid for those people who are independent, earning between $24,000 and $48,000, giving them access to $10 a week. But they've removed that and tried to convince those people who got the tax credit that they're much better off because they're giving them $11 but taking away 10 And that's a pretty poor Band-Aid for people who are earning the lowest incomes in New Zealand. Then we have a look at the, the tax changes within this bill. The lowest quintile, the lowest 20 per cent of earners in the country under the government's changes will get about $5 a week. Now, that's not anything to sniff at for, for people. But when you look at the context, as the Minister said earlier, the top quintile, those earning the most, will get $35 a week, five times more than the people who are at the bottom end of the income earning brackets, who are struggling to make ends meet, who are struggling to even dream of owning a home, who are probably on a Housing New Zealand waiting list, they get $5, and those people who earn at the other end of the spectrum, Mr Chair, get $35 a week. So this isn't a budget measures family incomes package, it is a band-aid. Because they're trying to appease people who are hurting now and not addressing the fundamental issues as to why they're hurting. And this government hasn't done that for the last eight and a half years. They haven't addressed incomes and they haven't uh, addressed the most three most important issues that New Zealanders are most worried around, about around health, housing and education. There is nothing in this budget to make it any easier for a low-income family on a middle-income family to be able to buy a house. Come nothing in these budget no, measures come whatsoever. To, come back to the bill. That's right. Yep. Bad, because this is a Band-Aid bill. And it's not dealing with the fundamental issue here. There is serious pain and ailment with families, and this government has delivered this budget, which is a Band-Aid, doing nothing fundamental to deal with the issues that affect them, around housing, around health, and around education. Come back to the and point. that's why this is a Band-Aid bill, Mr Chairman, because nothing has been done in those areas. We get a little bit of tax change, we get a little, get, little bit of giveth, a little bit of taketh, some good work in the uh, working for families, but nothing fundamental in this bill to help the families that it claims to help. Because how can it? When the bottom 20% of earners get $5 a week and the top get 35 And yesterday at 2 o'clock in this House, the Minister of um, Finance stood up and said this is a budget about low and middle income earners. Well, that is a facade and every other budget that this government has delivered has been a facade. They are offering tax cuts to those who earn a lot and failing to recognise there is serious need in the areas of housing, health and education. And this is why board. this bill fails to address those issues. Mr Chair, the title of this bill should be Band-Aid, because it's a short-term measure to try and address some fundamental issues that this country faces and this bill fails to address them, and, then, and because of that, this budget has failed, this government will fail, 
and on September 23rd there will be a change. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. I'm going to call Michael Wood. Thank you, Mr. Chair.